Welcome to a dark closet somewhere in Thailand. There's my recycling bin. There's a can crusher that I bought online. Now, back home, I had an amazing can crusher. You put the can in here, you slide it down, it crushes the can into a tiny, tiny little space, and everybody's happy. But this one is a piece of garbage. I put the can in, And it's, well, that's about the best I've ever seen. Normally, it just kind of folds forward and is not good at all. But then I noticed the problem was the can was getting kicked out at the bottom because there's nothing really holding it in. Then I thought, well, let's do a fun little project and solve this problem. So I took a piece of paper and I cut it to the size leaving space for these two little rails on the bottom. I cut out that hole and then I drew a line where the can fits in. So I came over into Fusion 360 and I imported a scan of that piece of paper and then I drew to fit the pattern. So I made the flat platform, I made this bump out as a tab to fit in the hole, I made a uh, a ridge to go around the edge to hold it in place. I notched out on the left and the right side and I put a big bracket in here to hold the can in place. Then I popped over into Simplify and set it up for 3D printing and it's going to look just like that. So let's see how it turned out. And here we are printed in Diet Coke Red so I just fit it into place and it actually fit really well the first time which is as we all know very unusual then let's put the can in place fits in nicely and let's give it a crush ah, bugger. I said let's try and crush this thing the right way pretty close. I can live with that. And then I did another print, but this time instead of a prototype 5% infill, I did 75% infill. So this is very, very strong. And we'll try a crush. It looks like I need to make a bracket for the top because the top of the can keeps popping out too. What a piece of... But sometimes you just need a big pair of pliers to bend the lip down. And let's see how this works. Oh, my Buddha, look at that. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's the little things in life, people. Yes. As you stare out on my beach, I would ask you to subscribe to my channel and click like on this video so YouTube thinks I'm worthy again. And I have so many people on my channel that they'll give me 10 cents a day in ad revenue. So I thank you for that.